Hello friends, welcome back to Slide Hunt with the video tutorial on C programming. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to multiply two matrices. Here we take two matrices, matrix A which has two rows and three columns and matrix B which has three rows and three columns. Now we multiply these two matrices. There is only one condition that is number of column of first matrix will be equal to the number of row of second matrix. Now see here matrix A has three columns and matrix B has three rows. So the number of column of first matrix and number of row of second matrix is equal. So the matrix multiplication will be possible. We multiply the two matrices in this way. First go row wise and then go column wise. First multiply 1 with 3, that is 3, so write here 3, give here a plus sign. Then multiply 2 with 1, that is 2, so write here 2. Then give here again plus sign and then 4 with 3, that is 12. Next we multiply this row with this column. 1 multiplied with 0 is 0. 2 multiplied with 2 is 4. Then 4 multiplied with 4 is 16. Next we multiply this row with this column and we get this number. Next we multiply second row with this column. 2 into 3 is 6, give here a plus sign. Then 5 into 1, 5. Then 3 into 3, 9. Then we multiply this row with this column and we get this number. Similarly we multiply with this row with this column and we get this number. Now we need to add this number. 3 plus 2, 5, 5 plus 12, 17, so write here 17, 0 plus 4, 4, 4 plus 16, 20, so write here 20. Similarly, we add all the remaining numbers and finally we get this matrix. Next we see how we can implement matrix multiplication using C programming. Here first we take input two matrices from user and then multiply these two matrices. But before this, we have to know the order of the matrices, means the number of rows and number of columns of each matrix. So I am going to declare here some variables which represent the number of rows and number of columns of the matrix. Int row 1, column 1, row 2 and column 2. Here row 1 represent the number of row of first matrix, column 1 represent the number of column of first matrix, similarly row 2 represent the number of row of second matrix and column 2 represent the number of column of second matrix. Next I am going to ask user to enter number of rows, printf enter number of rows for first matrix and a new line. To read the input number we use here a scanf function scanf percent d and we store the number to the variable row 1 so I am going to write here ampersand row 1. Next we take the input for column so I am going to copy it and paste here and I am going to write here enter the number of columns and here column 1. Similarly we take the input for second matrix so I am going to copy it and paste here and I am going to write here enter the number of rows for second matrix and here row 2 here second matrix and here column 2 next we need to read two matrices to read two matrices we need two two dimensional array so I am going to declare here M1 the order of the matrix is row 1 column 1 then we take M2 
and the order of this matrix is row 2 column 2 we need another matrix to store the result of the multiplication so I am going to declare here mal the order of the matrix is row 1 column 2 so here we declare 3 two dimensional array m1 for reading the first matrix m2 for reading the second matrix and multiplication array so we store the result of the multiplication here we need three more variable for loop counter so I am going to declare here i j and k our next task is to read the first matrix printf enter the element for the first matrix to read the elements of the matrix we use here two nested loop outer for loop which runs for row so I am going to write here for i equal to 0 i less than row 1 and then i plus plus inside this loop we write another for loop which runs for column so I am going to write here for j equal to 0 j less than column 1 and then j plus plus we read the elements of the matrix using scanf function scanf person d and here we refer m person m1 ij next we print the first matrix to the screen so I am going to copy it and paste here and here I am going to write printf first matrix is and here we use printf function instead of scanf function and here we give a slash t to give some space between the elements of the matrix and here we refer m1 ij and here we print a new line to go to the next row printf backslash n similarly we take the input from user for the second matrix and then print it to the screen so I am going to copy it and paste here and I am going to write here enter the elements for the second matrix here row 2 here column 2 here I am going to write m2 here row 2 column 2 and here m2 here we take input two matrices from user our next task is to multiply two matrices but before multiply we need to check the number of column of first matrix and number of rows of second matrix is equal or not if it is equal then matrix multiplication is possible else it is not possible so I am going to write here if column 1 equal to equal to row 2 if it is true then matrix multiplication is possible and if it is false then it is not possible so I am going to write here else printf matrix multiplication is not possible now we perform the multiplication operation here we need three for loop outer for loop runs for row so I am going to write here for i equal to 0 i less than row 1 and then i plus plus we need here another loop 
that runs for the number of column of second matrix. Now see here we multiply this row with this column, then this column and then this column. Means we perform here three operations. If there was four columns then we perform the operation four times. So the basic logic is we need a loop that runs for the number of column of second matrix. So I am going to write here for j equal to 0 j less than column 2 and then j plus plus and here I am going to initialize mal ij equal to 0 we need here another loop that runs for the column of first matrix so I am going to write here for k equal to 0 k less than column 1 and then k plus plus. Next we perform the multiplication operation that is mal of ij equal to mal ij plus m1 ik multiplied with m2 kj. Here i refers to the row of first matrix, so I am writing here i and k refers to the column of first matrix, so write here k and then row of second matrix is k because number of row of second matrix is equal to the number of column of first matrix that's why we write here k and here j refers to the column of second matrix, so I am writing here j. Next we print the resultant matrix to the screen so I am going to copy it and paste here and I am going to write here result of the multiplication and here row 1 and here we refer mal Let's check the output, compile and run. As you can see here, it asking for the number of rows for the first matrix. I am going to enter 2. Number of column for the first matrix, I am going to enter 3. Number of rows for the second matrix, I am going to enter 3. Number of columns for the second matrix, I am going to enter 3. Enter the elements for the first matrix, I am going to enter 1, 2, 4, 2, 5 and 3 and the first matrix is this enter the element for the second matrix I am going to enter 3, 0, 4, 1, 2, 1, 3, 4 and 6 and the second matrix is this and the multiplication of these two matrix is this one in first row it been 17, 20, 30 and second row it pin 20, 22 and 31. That's it. Hope you understand. See you in next tutorial. Thank you for watching this video. To watch more videos, please subscribe this channel Slide Hunt. And you can also like my Facebook page at www.facebook.com slash slide hunt.